In C Sharp 11, we can now use new lines in our string interpolation statements. Let's see us in action in this 10 minute training video. Now for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. And here I have already set up a console application with a little bit of string interpolation. If you don't know what string interpolation is, that's the dollar sign in front of a string that allows you to put in curly braces with some C sharp code in between. So this is normal string interpolation. This works in um, inside of .NET 6 and, and before. Um, so this is just standard, right? But what I've done here is I've created this string age text. And the age text will do a, a switch expression that says, hey, based upon the age, what value do you want to get? Old, getting old, a good age, and young. And please don't get hung up on the ages. I just put some numbers in there. So I've got an age here, and I've got this age text. And I've created this variable simply to put it inside the string interpolation. And creating an extra variable just to put it in something else is inefficient and it kind of clogs up your code with variables you don't really need. So with .NET 7, we now have the ability to put multiple lines inside of our curly braces in string interpolation, which means I can take this code right here. I can cut it out of here and let's get rid of this. And I can paste it in right here. And all of a sudden we now have, and I can move this down the next line. Uh, so it makes it a little cleaner here, but we now have a, a switch expression inside of our string interpolation and it works just fine. So if I run this and we get a value, it says the user is 44 years old, which is a good age. So uh, we should probably put a, a period at the end there. So that allows us to change the value however you want and get back the, the proper response. Um, which is old. So with that, we now have inline, I'm sorry, multi-line string interpolation statements that allows it to give it a little bit more um, stuff inside of those curly braces, a little more C-sharp like instead of just being in line. It allows us to break up our lines if we need to. It allows us to put more complex C-sharp code in there. Now, do I encourage you to use this all the time? Uh, probably not. You probably need to think through when it makes sense. I think in this case, it does make sense because we don't have to create a new variable just to then put it into another. So this allows us to cut down or reduce the amount of variables we create inside of our code. And it makes it pretty readable. Um, I am a little concerned with the readability here, especially if it's bigger, but it is something to think through. So this is a new feature in C Sharp 11 that is a little thing, but it does give you another option. And that's one of the things that people often overlook is options are good. And having options allows it to do things that we otherwise just can't. So we don't have to use it, but if it makes sense, use that multi-line inside of your, uh, your string interpolation. All right, thanks for watching. If you want this code, there's a link in the description. Otherwise, as always, I am Tim Corey.